I had written this at the end of 2020, um, but I never actually wrote it on my bullet journal. So these are my 2021 goals, and I didn't want to write goals because that makes it more intimidating. So I wrote 2021, and then I stamped draft. The first one that I have is enjoy life and be grateful for all parts of life, rather than focusing on just one aspect. Health, career, family, friends. So... Yeah, I had a really hard time finding a job and I went on over 30 interviews. Um, and I feel like I was just focusing on not finding a job. And I feel like I got really sad. And um, yeah, it's like sometimes you forget that you're not just one part. Like you're not just a student. You're not just a mom. Like you're a lot of things and there's a lot of things like in your life so basically that's just a reminder to not focus on one thing and then 11 appreciate myself and which kind of is the same as be patient with myself and the pace of everything around me um i feel like going through so many interviews i learned how to be patient um, especially last year, I honestly did not think that I would find a job because, um, because of the pandemic and there was a lot of budget cuts. So I honestly did not think I was going to get one, um, till like this year or till after COVID basically. Um, but yeah, and I, I was an intern, so I wasn't unemployed. Um, so I was lucky that I, I had that internship, but, um. And then, um, level up. Oh, and then the other thing is that, well, I guess I'll talk about it in the financial aspect. And then level up spiritually, intellectually, and emotionally. So I didn't want to write change or improve myself because that seems kind of mean to me. So that's why I wrote level up. So yeah, I mean, I want to do... I want to learn more things at work and I just want to be um, I just want to be a better person but I'm not saying that I'm a bad person is the way that I look at the word level up or the phrase level up because I don't want to be like I want to improve myself because I suck like no I want to you know level up I want to grow you know I don't know does that make sense um and then for quotes, I wrote, just do your best in everything you can. And it's a song that I heard my neighbor um, playing. And I feel like my neighbor was going through something. Um, and th this was like, probably like in the summer or something. Because um, there was like a lot of um, angsty songs like played in a row. But um, I actually... Um, remembered or i tried to remember these lyrics and i googled it and i don't know i just think it's a really nice song because it's like sometimes you can feel like you're stuck and you know it really is just the middle um and that's anyway again going back to the interview situation and then the second one is I said my losing streak is done, which is a song by the Eels. And um, I heard the song on Movie Shrek. And um, yeah, kind of like at some point I just had the mentality that like, oh my gosh, everything's going wrong. Um, but um, eventually I kind of just kept telling myself, okay, this one's a good one, like with interviews. And, um, sometimes it wasn't, uh, but you know, just kept, you just have to keep going, man. Anyway, and then for financial, I want to enjoy my money and share with others. Basically, it was just a reminder that I didn't want to be super stingy and super obsessed with money. And then be patient with money, especially with savings. Um, again, going back to this, I don't want to just focus on like, savings i can kind of sometimes feel myself obsessing too much about 
saving and too much about you know buying a house and stuff so i kind of try to remind myself that i need to like slow down and be patient um so that's that um and then for these two i actually had written an actual number in my other notebook and that's my work notebook by the way but anyway um so yeah the third one i was supposed to have less than six thousand but i actually paid off already so i crossed that off i wrote it and then crossed it off <laughs> and then for the last thing um save for a down payment on a house so i wanted to save at least thirty thousand i'm not writing a number for that anymore um but yeah and that's pretty much it um thank you for watching bye